Hey YouTube, JP Dillon. We're going to see if this is a part 3 of the PK1369. And uh, Shango brought to my attention that there should be additional magnets here. And it's true that this top one here looks like there used to be glue there. Although the bottom one doesn't look like there used to be anything, no signs of glue. I have my pincushion magnets on the side. So I'm wondering if there was a correctional magnet here. And uh, so uh, I was looking around the store and uh, I actually found some old ribbon tweeters, so I'm going to take one apart and see if that does it for me. I'm going to see, based on what people have told me about correctional magnets on the yoke, if I can use something like this. This is an old ribbon tweeter, and these are all magnets. So I busted one off. I may have to cut it down so that it fits, and I'm going to see if that has any influence on the picture or not. And uh, if it does, great. Then I can just glue the sucker in there and we can go from there. If not, uh, we'll see what else we can figure out. Here's our uncorrected CRT. And I'm going to see if placing this magnet nearby has any influence on it. Very minimal it looks like. Let me flip it over. It actually seems to make it worse. Yeah, I don't see it doing a whole lot. Eh, uh, can't really tell. Let's see what happens if I cut it down to fit inside of the yoke. Alright, cut to fit here, just taped in place for now until I can experiment with it some. And as you can see, that doesn't do much, if anything, at all. Uh, wonder what happens if we stick it on the bottom side instead. Alright, so now it's on the bottom. Ignore the tilt, I bumped the yoke a little bit. Yeah, it seems to have very little effect at all. It actually is kind of like making it do that, that's kind of weird. Maybe if I flip it over and change uh, polarity. I'm going to try sticking one here on the top of the other pincushion magnet and see if that uh, helps with anything. Alright, so this is magnet attached to the top of other pincushion magnet. That certainly makes the problem worse. Let's see if I reverse the phase on that magnet. All right, well, there it is. Uh, I found a combination of magnets that, although isn't perfect, as you can see, it does make it a usable picture. It's still freaking out every once in a while. Uh, most recently, I got it to really spaz. So I think there's still an intermittent short somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. I'm just trying to get the picture leveled out. There's a little bit of distortion, but uh, for the most part, that's watchable. And if we go back to a regular uh, broadcast screen, it should be okay. But here's what I did. I cut down those ferrous pieces, and I glued them to the pincushion magnets after I found out which direction and polarity of the magnet worked the best. And I got a combination of lengths by playing with it to correct the uh, pincushion or distortion, the trapezoidal distortion for the most part. So I'm not sure if it was a yoke or the magnets on this just got weak, but either way you can see it's a whole hell of a lot less trapezoidal. There's still a little bit of error. 
up here but you know what I don't really care that much it's not gonna be a, a, a perfect thing out the box I'm just gonna play it and enjoy it and you know like I said it's a nostalgia thing uh, the tuner seems to be getting worse the longer it's on uh, so I'm thinking that one or more of the tuner tubes is tired and you can see as I tune it the distortion of the picture becomes more prominent but for now actually it looks pretty good I think I'm gonna leave it as is and just uh, play with it for a while so I hope you guys found this interesting um, I certainly did might play with this a little bit more to correct it but otherwise it looks pretty gosh darn good you can see playing with the magnet definitely changes the aspect of it but that's pretty much dialed in where I can get it it's not going to get too much better than that so anyway Thanks for watching the video guys, more stuff to come.